All right, so here's my sort of review-ish of the Bare Bones 2.0 Tanto. Um, I got this about a week or two ago. Um, still not fully used to it yet. So I got some electrical tape to cover the tip because I've stabbed myself about 20 times with it and it's sharp as hell. Um, electrical tape on one side, it's still sharp enough to cut me if it hits me, but just not, it just won't, I just keep it on there so it doesn't wreck me until I'm fully used to it. But, without much tuning, there's the, let's see if I can get it to focus. The handle play, hardly any handle play. Um, I did put some blue lube on it from Benchmade, and but that's only because I had to relock tight it. Um, coming from a Benchmade 51, which was too light for me, this is slightly too heavy um i do very much like the weight it carries momentum very nicely and the weight is something you can get used to but it does tire your hands out quicker when flipping i'm not the best flipper uh the handles are very skinny so it feels kind of weird coming from a 51 or the g10 it, it feels very skinny and you can fan for a long time because it's nice and skinny. <clears throat> um, it is definitely in my opinion way better than the 51. If you're looking at going f with this or the 51, I have the 51 Morpho, and it does flip very well after I got it nice and tuned, but it's a little light, and it's a little too hard to get to carry rollovers, because it's so light, it's hard to get the momentum, but if you're looking for something in the two to three hundred dollar price range, I definitely recommend the Bare Bones 2.0. I love the knife. The shape of the blade is just so, in my opinion, one of the coolest blade shapes. It has a nice sound. I, I kind of like how they have the, uh, when you s smack it closed, it has those, the Zen pins are a little bit bouncy. It has a nice sound. As I said, it carries momentum very nicely through rollovers. Um, another minor complaint is this little thing where the Zen pins hit on the knife are a tad sharp. It's a very minor complaint. It's, it just pinches a little more sometimes. But, you know, it's a knife. You have worse things to worry about getting pinched or cut. So, <clears throat> uh, the only other thing that I could, like, say is a downside is one, one of the screws that I just put electrical tape to tell the bite handle, but... One of the screws has a hard time screwing all the way back in. I screw it in about halfway and then it just, this side of the screw just spins and it's really hard to get to, you know, twist it all the way. Um, great knife, definitely would recommend it. Um, I will be getting... I should be getting a replicant in the mail in a few days. Maybe I'll make a video about that if anyone wants me to and see if I can compare it. See how I like it compared to the bare bones, which one I like more. Um, 
I also got aluminum scales for the replicant, so might try those out too. And I've seen they have aluminum scales for the bare bones, so I might try those out. See if that makes it flip better, because I've seen it makes it a lot lighter. Um, yeah, just great knife, would recommend.